Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Nick, and today we're going to be doing a reaction to two cellos on one cello. Um, so there's the the twist on this. Uh, Every teardrop is a waterfall by Coldplay. I love Coldplay. Um, yes, they are a, a huge band, and um, some people think they're overrated, but um, they were a huge part of my childhood and growing up as a teenager. Um, I listened to them a lot, and um, I really thought at least they used to put a lot of thought behind uh, most of the most of their albums. Most of the songs flowed together, and um, that's why I'm looking forward to this reaction a lot. Um, thank you to Rich for supporting me over on Patreon and suggesting this. Um, they are fantastic group to listen to, two cellos. Um, they're so animated, and I can't wait to see what they do with this one. So please make sure to go subscribe to them at their channel, um, and do the same here if you're feeling this, okay? All right, let's hop into it. clever too to have the foot pedal be uh, sort of adding percussion on the cello um i'm also watching their left set of hands as they like overlap at the top there and and, and where they're they're sort of uh creating these chords with their fingers that's incredible the the um the synchronization uh, they're symbiotic for sure it's almost like they're uh, i don't know like siamese twins or something camera angle. <laughs> the symbol. Bravo. Bravo. Um, so I don't know their names. I need to look up. Uh, let's see. Without spending too much time. I'm not sure who is who. So Luca or Stepan. Uh, the one that had the perch above the brother who was sitting down. I'm calling them brothers. I don't even know that. It's so bad. Um, I obviously need to look into their, their background. Uh, but essentially, I'm assuming they're related. Um Whoever had the the perch above, I feel like they were the one that could not. It was a lot of the, uh, a lot of this performance was in their control because they had the vantage point uh, and the point of view with their eyes to make sure that 
um, they didn't end up hitting someone. Um, and it was just so, so impressive to watch them sort of fuse together as, as, as people and artists and musicians and uh, deliver something truly spectacular. Um, that was very cool. I'd, I'd love to believe they did this in one take. Uh, I'm sure they did that one in one take, but I'd love to believe that this is just like a, let's just try this once and it worked out. I'm sure they had probably a lot of practice and either way, it's very, very impressive. Um, I wonder if they do this when they're on tour um, because that's very, very cool. And they had all of like their instruments that played a part in this, uh, the cymbal or um, what's that called? The tambourine that was adding a little bit of like that, that uh, light percussion. And then um, of course, like sort of the, uh, the foot pedal that was just knocking the cello. Um, it was all very, very uh, well attributed and, um, and uh, it played a, a large role in making this work. So um, thanks again for tuning in. I really, really enjoyed this performance. The two cellos always, always, not the two, two cellos always delivers. Um, and I think it's about time I need to uh, dig into their past a little bit um, and separate who's who and how they came to be. So thanks again, uh, Rich, for recommending this one. I really, really appreciate you. And thanks to everyone that's uh, left a comment um, or let me know uh, what I'm missing in the comments. I really appreciate all of you. I'll see you next time. Take care.